This video is sponsored by Tenorshare. Today, I will show you how to easily migrate Windows to another drive. For this, you need to download a special software, and of course, you need to have a SATA adapter. So, let's get started. Firstly, you need to open your browser. For example, I opened Google Chrome browser. Then you need to paste this link. A link I will leave in the video description. Or if you wish, you can manually type 4D Dick Partition Manager. Then press Enter. So here we are on the official website from which we can download and install this utility. In our case, 4D Dick Partition Manager. If we scroll down a little bit, here you may see advantages of the software. One click migrate a Windows OS to SSD without reinstalling a system and etc. Today we're going to migrate a Windows. Now we need to click here, try it for free. As you can see, it support from Windows 7 to Windows 11, which is great. Click on it. For example, I will save it to desktop. Click on save. Now you can close the browser. Run the installer, click install, and wait a few seconds. Now we can click on start. Finally, here we are in the utility. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. I want to mention that this software is not free. Yes, it is what it is. To use it, you need to purchase a license. And after that, you will be able to use each of these features. In my case, I will try to migrate Windows to a hard drive. Also, you can try to migrate operating system to SSD drive or from SSD drive to HDD drive. It all depends on you. I think on average people want to migrate from HDD to SSD drive. So here you need to select Migrate OS. But before doing this, let's try to connect our hard drive. My friends, let's get into it. As you can see, in my hand I have a SATA adapter. I will use the SATA adapter to connect a hard drive to my laptop. As you can see, this hard drive is 2.5 inches. That means you can connect not only a hard drive, but also SSD drive if it's also 2.5 inches. Obviously, first step is quite easy. You just need to connect your hard drive to SATA adapter. Voila! After doing this, you need to connect it to your laptop or PC using USB-A port. That's it. I successfully connected my HDD drive. You need to click on Reload. I want to mention one very important thing. If you have some important files or data on your hard drive, please save it because it will totally format your HDD or SSD drive. It will erase data. Then you need to click on Migrate OS. Here we have a short instruction. Migrate OS with simply two steps. Select a target disk you want to migrate to and migrate OS successfully. Click on Start. So the thing is, this is my SSD drive, M2 drive with the main operating system. Here I have a C drive and this is a hard drive that I connected. I need to select my hard drive. In your case, it may be an SSD drive. Click on it. Then click on start. System migration will overwrite all partitions and files on the target disk. Are you sure to migrate the system to this drive? Yep, you need to click on sure. As I previously told you, it will erase all data. Click here. After all this process, one more time, you need to click on start. And Windows migration will begin. It may take some time. Of course, it will depend on speed of your SSD drive, hard drive, and even though on a SATA adapter. If you have USB 3.0 port and SATA adapter that support USB 3.0, it will be much faster. In short, it will vary. So be patient and take your time. And finally, that's all. As you can see, we migrated Windows to a hard drive. Here you may see the next message. Migrate system successfully. That is, you just need to install your new SSD drive or hard drive into the laptop. And that's all. It will work. Click on finish. And of course, you need to safely remove your SSD or HDD drive that you previously connected. Click here. Select this icon. Now you need to find your hard drive, click on it. 
you will see the message that you can successfully unplug the HDD drive and then you can remove it.